weakens trees. A link sent out with a tweet likely aimed at explaining the harmful effects of sunlight on plant life redirects users to a dead page on the EPA's website. And Twitter users noticed this and mercilessly mocked uh, all these uh, EPA sayings. And I like this one tweet this guy has. This is from uh, Anthony Bali. Is that how you say that? He says, I applaud the EPA for having the guts to stand up to Big Sun. You know, like these people, they want to come out and say things that have existed pretty much since the beginning of time are now harmful to the environment. You know, and I wonder if they're going to have some type of carbon tax for the sun. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but think about all the carbon taxes that we have already. You know, these people, they step off their private jets into 10 car convoys and are called humble as we're emitting tons of, uh, of CO2 and all the other things. So they're saying that you and I should cut down on. And if you choose to ride a bus, that's your business. If you choose to ride a bike, that's your business. But you shouldn't be forced to do these things by the people who are definitely not doing them themselves. And we'll end tonight on this before we go into more special reports, a video of Clinton supporters unwittingly backing Trump's tax plan. So stay tuned right after this break. This is the InfoWars Nightly News. Do you support her plan to eliminate taxes for those who make less than $25,000 a year? I would support that, yes. Do you support her plan to eliminate the alternative minimum tax? Alternative minimum tax. Yeah, I support that. Do you support her plan to eliminate the estate tax? Yes. And what would you say if I told you those are all Donald Trump's proposals? I would say he's a pretty smart man. <laughs> I say I feel stupid. <laughs> Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one, was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car I'll run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. As you drive around town, you may have noticed the shots. Get your flu vaccine here. Now, many people will accuse me, they may have accused you as well, of being an anti-vaxxer. And I'm quick to point out to people, I definitely recognize there are health benefits to getting vaccines, but I also know there are health risks as well, which is to say I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm a guy who actually got into his car, went to CVS, went to Walgreens, walked up to the pharmacist's desk, asked the pharmacist for a vaccine insert, the pharmacist then handed me a piece of medical literature, which said that this flu vaccine could give you symptoms including, but not limited to, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting, which is to say the symptoms of the vaccine could be just as bad as getting the flu itself. So with this in mind, I'm not too keen on taking the flu vaccine or would rather avoid it if at all possible. So these are the type of basic facts that many people don't want to talk about. You can turn on the TV right now and see the very hard push to get yourself vaccinated. And you know, to each his own, I just say, the flu vaccine is not for me. With this in mind, if you go to InfoWars.com, we have the top videos that you need to see before you go and get the stick, not just for yourself, but for your family as well. We'll play these and we'll be back right after this break. Well, with flu season in full effect, the push for vaccination is really intense. But what they might not be telling you is you could be trading one danger for another. So we went undercover at two of the nation's top walk-in flu shot pharmacies to see what they had to say about the vaccine's safety and effectiveness. Hi, uh, where do you guys do flu shots? Well, I don't know. I mean, do you think that it's like safe and effective and even There's, with all these other... It's 50 to 70% effective against it. If you do get the flu, it'll be a lot less severe. We had a tech that did get this shot, did come down with it, but it only took her like two days to bounce back. Mm -hmm. 
you know, as you what? can tell, things are deteriorating. Is there any advice you can give me? Don't ever take a flu shot again. Now, I watched that <laughs> night with Dr. Oz, and I... And, and we Deborah both saw said, him put that thing in my arm, and yeah, within 10 days, I'm just strutting and down. I, you know, have, have you had a flu shot this year? No, I don't do that. I'm not going to get sick. Well, see, the thing is, I got a flu shot and said I was not going to get sick, and I got sick. That's why I don't need to get a flu shot. So it's not 100% effective and may even cause the flu. But what did the pharmacists have to say about the Marisol, which you'll find they were very careful to avoid calling it mercury. It's a preservative. Is there mercury in that flu shot? <laughs> there is an extremely small amount, not anything that's dangerous. And it is preservative free. Why do they put that in there? I don't understand the preserve the um, the, the vials like these the preservative free are drawn up mm -hmm. individually, so it's more expensive. The vials they can do one vial, so you can buy it at a cheaper price. The amount of preservative is less than a can of tuna, so oh. if you look at it that way, it's really not yeah significant. So you as know? long as you're not getting a bunch of shots, yeah, at one time. Okay, yeah. Studies show that most pregnant women should avoid eating canned tuna, though, so this really wasn't sitting easy with me. So I wanted to see what she would say if I introduced pregnancy into the equation. Would she warn me of potential dangers? Okay. I'm not pregnant at all, but I'm like but trying to be. Is that a they issue, recommend or? that the pregnant women get the flu shot. They actually had one death of a pregnant woman last week, and she hadn't had the shot. But the hero is reading that it's highly recommended for oh, them to get oh, it, yeah. so. Yeah, every OB them to get it. Okay. Because I mean, if they come down with the flu, like, they can hardly treat them, you know, oh. like, and so. So uh, this shot with the... Mm -hmm. So they're extremely propelling right now in Texas for pregnant women to get the shot right now. Wow, even the one with mercury in it? Mm-hmm. Three-year-old Aisley McCarthy was buried today in Elkhorn. Her family tells me she died Monday morning at Blank Children's Hospital in Des Moines, not even 48 hours after she started showing flu-like symptoms. Hey guys, Rob Dew here for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News, and here's a story that I wanted to share with you, and I want you to get this out to anybody you know, especially if someone you know out there is thinking about getting the flu shot. Family's devastation after their healthy three-year-old daughter dies from flu less than 72 hours after she began feeling unwell. And this is the story of Azalee McCarthy, a, a beautiful little three-year-old girl who started complaining of symptoms just after Christmas, and in 72 hours, her parents were holding her in a wrapped up cloth at the hospital as she died in their arms. Very heartbreaking story. And it really disturbed me as I read this article and then went to the source link, which is the Des Moines Register. But here's what they had to say at Daily Mail. Uh, she began complaining to her mother that her legs hurt so much she couldn't walk. And in less than 72 hours, she'd be dead at Children's Hospital in Des Moines, Iowa. And of course, the family is shocked and confused. They don't know why she contacted this and was dead such a short while later. But here's where it gets really interesting here in uh, the Des Moines Register. Healthy Iowa three-year-old dies from the flu. Third sentence down, she was healthy and she had her flu shot, said Amber McCarthy, Asley's mother. The whole thing is unreal, and it is unreal. When you think about in this day and age and we have all this medical technology that a little girl could get a flu shot and then become sick with the flu, and actually the same types of flu that are in the flu shot, and then die in 72 hours. Um, but what really angered me was a quote from the health department there in Polk County. And this is Nola Anger who said, if people would get the flu shot, it can limit the severity of flu symptoms if they do get it. The shot offers protections for other strains. This is a serious illness and can affect healthy people. Apparently it, it affected this little girl. Brianna Breton is a 29-year-old pregnant nurse from Pennsylvania who, after reading the package insert on a flu vaccine, she decided to dig a little bit deeper, and what she found gave her cause for concern for the health of her unborn child. Well, when she presented this evidence to her employer at the hospital for a reason to opt out of the flu vaccine, they decided to fire her instead. 
I found out I was pregnant the end of October. Um, I had miscarried twice before this, and immediately upon finding out I was pregnant, I went to my employer, um, human resource representative, and told her I would need help. Hey, buddy, told her I would need help in in getting an exemption for the flu vaccine. Um, I, they had started a mandatory policy that all employees, all healthcare employees, receive a, a the flu vaccine. Um, and I knew that there were the reasons for exemption, so I asked her to assist me in getting an exemption form and was immediately told that if I did not receive the flu vaccine, I would be it would be considered my resignation. And so had you have you taken the flu vaccine before for